and I feel very inappropriate. So I figure I might as well do a video. <laughs> so, um, I'm, to be honest with you, I was gonna do a video about how, how, what, when, where. Oh, okay, 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 I got you, spirit. Okay, so, y'all listen now. You, you know I gotta whisper, even though it don't matter, but I gotta whisper. I was gonna do a reading about <laughs> about what they're thinking right now, but mm, I just got a reading. Well, I just listened to one of my favorite readers, and she was like, "You about to get some dick," and I was just like, "I want some dick. Mm, I want some dick." <laughs> like, so I kind of in the mood <laughs> for wanting some dick, even though you know that time of the month is here. Some bullshit. No, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It lets me know that. Me fucking up this month has no consequences. Okay. Uh, trying to find my ashtray <laughs> so I can put the blunt down. Okay, all right. Oh, my hands is ashy too. Don't judge me. So, we are going to do what are they thinking as well as... What are they thinking as well as... Uh, should I add that in there? Ooh, what do they think about when they think about sex with you? There you go. Bam, thought got it. Look, I'm a genius, okay? So we have <laughs> we have smoky quartz, we have amethyst, and we have what's this? Let's see. What's that? Oh, uh let's see. I can't remember what this stone is. But it's so pretty. We're gonna call it the green stone. Okay, so pick the path of it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, y'all. See, some of our people like lettuce. Some of our people like crystals. So we got A, B, and C. Pick the path that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. And we are going to get started. Hi, how A? Okay, so <laughs> let's see something real quick. Uh, how are they feeling about you right now? Just currently, just curious. How is Pau A's person thinking about them right now? How is Pau A's person thinking about them right now? How is Pau A's person thinking about them right now? Deception. Oh, somebody ain't telling the truth. And now they want to come clean, okay? They want lighthearted energy with you. They call that. <laughs> Your person's calling you into that energy. So if some of you guys are dreaming <laughs> about this person, some of you guys are just coming out of nowhere and thinking about I remember, <clears throat> you know, I got spies. So people watching me can't tell y'all what I used to tell y'all. But I remember I was sitting up in my room one night. And I was sitting on the bed and I was watching South Park because that's what I'm on right now. And uh, I just said one of my ex's name out of nowhere. And I got very, very toned up, turned on. And I was like, this motherfucker's thinking about me. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's probably that's probably what's happening. <laughs> Your person is wanting to give this 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 relationship, situation, ship, fuck, fuck a ship. I don't, I don't know what I would call that. Uh, <laughs> your person want to fuck. They've been thinking about it. They want to give it a chance. They want to come back around. They want to see you. Okay. Uh, they feel a very spiritual energy connecting you to. Um, you guys probably do have that spiritual link. And this person want to sin with you in some type of a way. Hmm. Got, yeah. Got romantic feelings. They feeling very romantical about you. All right. But money is probably something that is uh, being used as control or they are very just focused over their finances. But they want to come back and be playful with you. Your person's uh, addicted to your energy. To sum it up. Okay. Uh, and they want to come around. <laughs> This person wants to come around and talk to you. They want to, I think that maybe you guys have uh, mis a misunderstanding or they haven't been honest or something regarding like wanting to get something off their chest that has been hidden from you. Um, so they, they're trying to come back around. They, they want to talk. They want to express. Even probably express some, some type of romantic energy with you. But let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh... What I think about doing you, right? What I think about doing you, like, 
They sit in their room, you know, watching TV, <laughs> minding their own business. And a flash of you pops in their mind, right? What is that thought? What is, what is that what is that 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 moment when they're whatever they're working with rushes with blood? Okay? Because you know some clitoris, they been they be rushing with blood too. Okay, you need <laughs> clitoris. You need some money. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, your person wants to give you something. Your person has honestly been thinking about you and they will want to like if you came in the room, they'll flip you and put you on your back. Uh, they will rub their hands all around you. All around you. Uh, they love everything about your body. Your person, honestly, honestly, they want to come around and commit to you because they feel rejuvenated after you guys have sex. Let's just say sex. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way to be, you know, YouTube friendly. Uh, your person wants to lick and suck and rub your pearl until you come for daddy right uh they might even want to have a threesome or some type of you know orgy with you they might want to like make you oh, look if you were a twin they'll let you run a train type of thing okay so your person would love to be able to get real real nasty with you and then after they eat you out because they put you on your back so they can eat you out they're gonna bend you over right and your person has <laughs> sex with you is not like it's not like any other it's not like um the next person's sex with you is it is just unique to them they they feel they feel when they have sex with you you know how you can have sex with somebody and it's just like Oh, okay, that was nice. But when they have sex with you, it's a feeling. It, it, it's something that they can be like, yes, this is this is what I wanted. <laughs> I needed this. Your person feels stable around you. That's what that is. Your person feels very stable around you. And it's like when they when they in it, it's a whole... <laughs> your Well, this is probably a man anyways. Because this is how men think. But when they when they in it or when they thinking about you, they it's a whole different perspective of like, damn, I kind of want to like... Like just seeing things differently. I kind of want to make sure this this is stable. This is ten of pentacles energy. That's like happy home life, financial security, being stable, legacy, children, family. So, and then the ace of pentacles is always potential to me. So your person is like, yeah, 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 yeah. This 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 queen, this queen. I have passion for. Your person might even feel like you might reject them at times. You might even reject them like if they were to come around. But your person is manifesting this energy. They're manifesting this this emotional stability with you. They're they're manifesting this playfulness with you. They're they're manifesting this this um reconciliation. And then the, even the funny part about it is that I was just watching one of my readers that got me to make this video today. She was talking about creativity, and creativity is very much linked to the sacral chakra. <clears throat> the sacral chakra is very much lead, um, linked to sex. <laughs> so, your person, like you, and then, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I had a, yes, fuck my sacral chakra. So, with this energy, I feel like because you just do it for this person, you rejuvenate this person. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's what they think about. They think about, like, if your person's sad, they think about fucking you and being happy, okay? It's like you turn their world upside down in a way. All right. <laughs> so if this makes any type of sense, uh, y'all know I'm very nosy. 
This is what I'm looking at. If you ever wonder why your person doesn't doesn't um give you the things that you feel like you need from them, your person is dealing with like heartbreak from the past and shit, and it's it's just easier to be single. They they feel exhausted. <laughs> so if this made any type of sense, please let me know. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hi, pal B. All right, pal B. So, uh, how is your person thinking about you right now? I want to know how they think about you so I can know, like, you know, what, what they thinking about. So for pal B. What when, when it comes to Pal B, Pal B's person, how are you feeling? Like, how do you feel on the inside about Pal B? Uh, I'm trying to move on without you. I love you, but I love me more. I'm sorry I don't feel the same way. This person's going through depression. They regret things between you two. They feels like you are part of their soul family. They've been talking about you and they got money issues. Okay, or uh, I don't want to put that energy out there. I was about to say maybe they talking about your money issues or y'all money issues or this person is just having money issues. Uh, they do want to fuck though. They do want to fuck, but it's like issues that's stopping them from being able to reach out and give you that long stroke like they need to. Uh, saying that it, it, they're the energy of not feeling complete, but loving you, being in love with you and wishing that they could start over because you mean the world to them. And they honestly feel like everything has happened for a reason. This person is taking their time, but they're coming back and they're still here for you. They, they want to keep it as a committed, but single. <laughs> the nerve of these people, friends with benefits. But they, but the end, the end game is that they're gonna come back around, so you guys can actually talk. Okay. All right. So your person's going through depression now, now, now. If oh, I feel really good right now. Okay. If <laughs> if your person was sitting in a room, sitting on the bed, watching TV, and you just pop in their mind, and out of nowhere it's just very sexual and a lot of like i want to do this i want to do that but i want to know what are they thinking about so when you pop up in their mind where does their mind go when it comes to pal b what are, what is pal b's person mind goes when they think about them sexually when they think about this oh all right <laughs> You make this person want to try different things. You make this person want to get out, stand out the. You want, um, I was reading something. You want your person, I mean, you want your person. This person, you make this person stand out. Like, you make this person, let me get my thoughts together. You make this person want to try different things. They love everything about your body. Your person is kind of infatuated by the way down that look. And they wonder if they can even fit. They wonder, <laughs> they wonder if they can fit. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm like, what is going on? I keep on seeing all these emails about my credit. And then I get the one that says, your credit has increased. I keep on getting all these uh, card offers. I'm like, what the fuck? Um... Your person wants to kind of... Okay, so what I'm getting so far is that when your person is alone and they're thinking about you, or they're just thinking about you sexually in general, they can be around a couple of people. Um, your person thinks not like... Your person wants to get freaky with you. It, it's more of an energy of like them wanting to touch on your body. Um, it's something about the way you look that gets this person fired up. <laughs> it's the way you look down there that gets it. So if you come in the room and you take your, you know, underwear off and everything and you just lay down and you spread your legs, they want to see this person's like glued to it and they look at it and they like, mm, I wonder if I can fit up in that. And then that makes them, you know, that ego, your person kind of is driven off ego. Uh, 
They love that. <laughs> they love your ass. They want to play with it. They want to play with you. They wonder if they can stick whatever they want and wherever they want. Uh, your person might even want to give you some money, leave you some money on a dresser. And it mainly, <laughs> mainly the reason why when you pop up in their mind, they think about you is because you, 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 you got some good stuff. You got some good stuff. Hold on. I can let me see if, uh. Your person wants you to submit to them. They want you to worship them. This It's an ego thing with your person. It's an ego thing. They might even want to tie you up and use some toys with you. Make you... Oh, okay. Let's see if I can uh, PG or YouTube this. Your, what I, the image I just got is that <laughs> they they want to tie you up and use you, right? And while you tie it up, they want to use toys. They want to use whatever they have, whatever you have. This person wants to get nasty. But before they stick anything in you, while you are tied up and probably while you are being used, like a toy is being used on you, they want to stick something in your mouth and then, <laughs> and then give you the full stroke. Okay? So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to YouTube it up. I'm trying to be YouTube friendly. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, why I put these cards up? What else do you want to do, pal B, to pal B's person? Oh, they want it anywhere, any place. This person craves you. And it's something about them wanting to use toys. So maybe you have a vibrator. Maybe they have a vibrator. Maybe you guys have, you know, dildos and all that beautiful, beautiful equipment that I have a lot of at my house. Uh, Y'all didn't need to know that, but I'm a little high, so it's okay. <laughs> but your person okay so mainly when you when they think about you they think about you like if you walked in a room it's on site it's nothing to really talk about like i want it right now take those panties off take them drawers off let's do this because they they kind of like and i can definitely guarantee that whoever is your person gets a lot of blood rushing down there when they think of you and they think about using all the toys in their box <laughs> every single toy that they have every single trick that they have on you your person loves your curves your person loves your body even at the bottom of the deck it says i love everything about your body and i want to see i want to see down there and even wanting to give you money or time or effort or whatever you're desiring this person wants to give it to you because they feel like they kind of owe it to you all right, all right. <laughs> so if this made any type of sense to you, pal P, please let me know and I'm going to talk to you people in the next one. Hi, pal C. All right, pal C. So how is pal C's person currently feeling about them? How does pal B's person feel about them how does how these person feel okay so there's something new something fresh that they want to uh work on uh maybe it's not like a new person but maybe like a new energy uh, this person wants to make the effort that they're keeping an open mind okay they're keeping an open mind and this is like a friendship or they maybe they just want to like be friends with you and have a nice little innocent energy with you some playfulness maybe they're trying to like start over fresh uh or wanting to just get to know you this person wants to spend some time with you they want to be in good energy with you they want to learn they feel like this. Okay, so this is good. Your person has a lot of passion for you and they think about you. But it's an energy of awaiting, so just give it some time. But your person is very passionate, a lot of chemistry, wanting to be your friend, wanting to get to know you, wanting to make the effort. They have an open mind about this, this whatever this is. Because uh, it can be so many things, you know. So many people watch this. A lot of talking, though, wanting to get to know you needing like needing time though for things to unravel but the person's decent this is a good energy all right I like seeing it now <laughs> when you guys are well when your person when palsy's person is alone right and they sit on the bed and out of nowhere sit on the bed watching tv and out of nowhere pal see 
pops up in their mind. What is Palsy's person like? What are they thinking? What is on their mind? What is... Yeah, like... <laughs> what what gets that blood rushing? Ooh, what are they thinking about? Oh, shit. A lot. They're thinking about a lot. Okay. Oh. All right. They want you to lick and suck on their neck. Okay. It's, it's foreplay. Okay. Your touch puts this on them on a different level. They want you anytime, any place, anywhere. Let's do this. They want to go round for round with you. They want to know what you want to do with them. They want to get you high. They want to get you drunk. They feel like you're the best that they've ever had. They want to put a baby in you. They think about you pregnant. They think about you worshiping them. They think about... Uh, is who, who is submitting? And them worshiping them? Oh, they think about vice versa. They think about like you going after them and worshiping them and then them going after you and submitting to you. All right. I like that. Look, be equal, be balanced. Okay. This person wants to put their hands all over you. It's something about your touch. It is it's definitely about uh penetration. This person definitely wants it. But it's something about like foreplay and your touch and and how you treat them and, and how good it is to them. They want you to come all over them. And they might even want to threesome with you. Your person wants to do it all. They honestly want to do it all with you. Uh, it's like one minute they want to take instruction from you. And then the next minute they want to give instruction. And it's like this person wants to... I feel like when they're at the house by themselves or whatever they are... They think about you a lot. They purse this person. <laughs> and when they do think about you, they instantly get hard. And I can I can guarantee that they can't. They can't have that. They they won't be able to have that. Uh they think about I think this person thinks about the last time you guys have had it. Or if you guys haven't had sex, then they just think about you guys, you know, doing it. But if you guys have had it, if you guys have done it before, this person thinks about that. They think about every time you guys have done it. They think about getting you like loose, like it's probably better. It is better. It is. It is better. Uh, <laughs> but they they think about the times where they've gotten you higher drunk and and not taken advantage of you, but taken advantage of you. You know, did they think? Did what they wanted? Your person feels like you're the best that they've ever had. That's that's pretty much. Yeah, look, you're the best I've ever had. Is because of your touch. It's something about you. I don't know. What do you do? Do you give a good... Uh, uh, we can't talk about that on here. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get more information. So, Spirit, what's going on with this connection? What's going on with this connection, Spirit? What's going on with this connection here? This person sees you as the empress. They see you as a queen of cups too. So this person sees you as a woman who's very, very much building her as building her own. I should say that. Building her own. Building her own empire. Building her own. Very fertile. Things grow with her. She is not like uh you know how you've been around well, you know you be around people and they just kill off energy and shit. This person sees you as someone who gives life, gives energy. Uh, someone who's very intuitive, very sweet, very beautiful. Very, very supple energy. They see you as a fucking queen of pentacles too. So they see you as a woman who has money. They see you as a woman who has options. <laughs> What's this nine of wands about? They see you as being probably very protective of yourself as well. They see you as somebody who lives in the energy of like maybe you listen to your intuition, maybe you feel very guided and you go with that that uh that spiritual knowledge that you have. 
your person sees you as somebody who has like i think they see you as somebody that has a lot of potential or they see this relationship as being like a lot of potential this person sees you as a queen of wands too damn they see you as every queen and the empress this person sees this person sees you it's not like one aspect that this person has not paid attention to when it comes to you uh, they think that you're very sexy, very confident, very beautiful, very uh, passionate energy as well. They see you as someone who's trying to go on their financial journey, that's trying to get achievements, that's trying to move forward. This person sees you as a, a, a very, very much of quality, very much of quality, dedication. And I think your person, honestly, is kind of obsessed with you a little bit, to be honest with you. But it's something about fighting and pushing back as well. And then we have indecision and taking time. Why 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 is this energy there? What is this energy? Fear of the unknown. Heartbreak. Exhaustion. So what's about to happen? Ooh, ace of cup. Look, stepping up, becoming an emperor, all right. Eight of Wands, communication, okay. Moving into better energy, taking a leap of faith. Your person, this is going to, this energy between you two is about to get way better than it was before. I don't know where you guys were, but if you guys are having trouble, things are going to get better. This person is going to step up and not be just a man. He's going to be the emperor. Emotion is going to be here. He's going to reach out, communication, better energy. Uh, I feel like manifestation, good a creation of something and even taking a leap of faith so this is really good energy this wasn't what this was meant to be about but i, I feel like your person wants to stay in your life because they feel spiritually connected and they want justice with you i even feel like they might want to come out from the cold from your uh <laughs> some of you guys probably uh cuss these people out but your person wants better energy with you if this is a new person they they, they want something Okay, so if this made any type of sense to you, pal, see, please let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and comment down below.